come across this. It looks fishy. We're gonna fish it. All right, y'all. Getting ready this morning. Just got some ice. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in here. We're at a uh, we're at Bucky's this morning. You gotta make a stop when you pass the Bucky's. You just got to. But uh, it's got some waters and stuff getting ready to ice down so but we're on our way to ray roberts this morning so once we get this 150 bucks of gas put in the boat and truck we're gonna get that way so looking forward to it let's get over there and see on the water the truck and the boat right there not too much i guess and 10 i think i had some gas already in the boat but we're to top it off so let's get on the road Just now peeking over that hilltop over there. It's gonna be 106, 107 today, something like that. But we're gonna go out here. That's why I'm getting up early, go out here and try and find these fish. But not gonna get any minnows. I just I honestly just don't feel like stopping and messing with them. I um, had a buddy out here the other day or last week and did pretty good with jigs. So that's what we're gonna do. So as soon as we get to the lake, drop the boat in and get over there and get on some fish, hopefully. So, I'll leave you guys. It's so dry here in Texas right now. This whole little patch right here caught on fire. Luckily, it didn't go no further than this. It's just super, super dry here. We're gonna kind of fish some brush i think i was wanting to fish over here but y'all can see there is hopefully y'all can see there's boats lined up on every single one of those places i wanted to fish so i don't want to be fishing like that around a bunch of people so all right y'all just idling around come across this right here and uh wait a second is that hydrilla what is that I don't know how good y'all can see that. It kind of looks like hydrilla. Did not know there's any hydrilla in this lake. Huh. Look, just come across this. It looks fishy. We're gonna fish it. I got biting flies all over me. But let's see what we can catch off of this. All right, so I just went double jig. The same 16th ounce on the bottom. I got a 32nd ounce up top. Little bitty profile. Let's see. Just to help me get down there just a little bit more. All right, y'all, like I'm saying, this, this lake fish is really, really deep, and this is pretty deep right here. This is 30 foot. I don't know. It looks like crappie to me, but you never really know something like this. Kind of looks like rock, like some chunk rock. Maybe a little bit of like a ledge going on, which I like ledges. Let's see. definitely have to put a split shot or something on this I don't really think I'm where I need to be there's a fish though huh let's see what it is it's a crappie little guy but it's a crappie <laughs> all right well at least we're working with something now little guy 30 foot deep <laughs> okay i feel better now so those are crappie awesome it's kind of... all right we'll see i moved up a little shallower we're in 27 foot now i don't know there's a lot of fish down there but they just don't look that big There's one. That's not, not a bad little fish right there. Okay, working with something now. Not a bad one. 27 foot deep. Okay, 
there is hydrilla in this lake too which is interesting i can tell you right now none of the fish none of the marks on there looked that big so maybe there's some good fish down in there that is hydrilla though that's like the second clump i've seen or some kind of aquatic vegetation i'm not real sure but yeah these don't overlook super super deep stuff you know this time of year depending on the lake like this lake like ray roberts um it, it fishes really deep some lakes don't fish like that necessarily oh, that was one. you know it kind of just depends on the lake but you can find deep fish like this on every lake oh god there's so many fish down there is that hydrilla what is that some kind of aquatic vegetation there's one that might be a bluegill there yep that's what i thought oh. they're pulling my jig down a bunch too come back here stop stop okay that's what i was thinking but there are crappie down there too i'm surprised those bluegill are that deep too honestly I think one of these jigs is twisting this line. I think it's that top one. So far, it's not monster fish day, but the day is young yet. It's only 9.14. God, there look to be some good sized fish over there. Did y'all see that one? Did that one break me off? That one broke me off, you guys. Oh, the freaking thing went through. Oh, no. Yeah, sometimes on these unpainted jig heads like this, the uh, the eye will slip through. I didn't think they were that small to do that, but I guess so. So I'm going to put a different knot on here. Because we don't want that to happen again. With that loop knot, sometimes it'll slip through like that on these. If this eye is not all the way closed and exactly what happened on that one and I don't want that to happen on a three pounder so all right okay I think these right here might be working a little better too because they're even smaller than the one on the bottom I mean these are about as small as you can get plastic wise perch that's a crappie there hmm. not monstrous there's some crappie down there there's gotta be some keepers down there too. There's just gotta be, right? Ugh. Legs are already burning. That little breeze that we have feels pretty nice. It wasn't supposed to blow at all, which was gonna make it unbearable out here. Ooh, that's a nice one there. There we go. Feels like it. Nope, now it doesn't. God, that fish felt humongous on there. <laughs> Must have had that bottom jig in some brush or something. It's fun getting to fight them up, you know, that far. 22 foot. Definitely a lot shallower up here now than I was. This is like a, it's kind of like a drop with just some scattered rock and brush on it. It very well may be a Corps of Engineer brush pile, but I don't know. Kind of looks like one, honestly. Get 
getting somewhere now. Uh, that one. That one might actually keep if I was keeping. Oop, there he goes. That one might have actually kept. My jig's gone. I gotta put a new one on. Seems like moving up a little shallower definitely was the move too. I feel like the size has went up a little bit. That one hit it on the drop. Oh, that one probably keep. Oh, he'd be close. That fish is crazy. No, he's not a keeper. He looked way bigger. Ooh, there we go. Might be a better one. It's hard to tell. Oh, that one might keep. Oh, he'd be close. They're all like cookie cutter. Had to measure each one. He'd probably be short though. He hit it though. Pitching on these fish seems to really be getting them going. I'm not even live scoping these guys, these fish, you guys. Like I see they're over here and I'm just fishing for them. I get so tired of that that live scope, you know, dogging. I mean, I have it and I use it, but I use it more for just locating fish. I don't use it to just pick fish off most of the time. All right, everything's good. So, so many fish down there. I'm having a blast even though they're little you guys that's why i use these ultralight rods like this even these little fish are so fun to catch on this rod i'm just you know i like to keep it sporty you know like i mean so fun to catch these guys on this rod so what i've been doing a lot now is just kind of pitching out like this getting hung up a little more than I had been but definitely seems to be producing some fish because I don't know if you can see but there's fish all the way down this slope right here I don't I think it's kind of just like a rocky chunk ledge with uh, some scattered brush it looks like I mean it's nothing real crazy but there's fish all over it Boat's kind of surrounded by brush or fish. Yep, there's one. Feels like a decent one too. Oh yeah, nice one. I think that's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be a good fish to end the video on you guys. Solid keeper. Kind of skinny, but you know, white crappie are kind of like that, but pretty fish. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Um, just a little trip out to Ray Roberts to catch some deep water fish. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed. Wasn't a lot of big fish caught, and Ray Roberts is kind of notorious for that, especially these deep, you know, Corps of Engineer brush piles and things like that. But did catch a couple, probably 10 keepers, 15 keepers, something like that. But just more or less just showing you how many fish are out here deep and how different lakes fish differently it's pretty crazy but double jig rig works really well um, especially on stuff like this where you're not going to hang up that much it's good a uh, good rig to use on this but i had a great time i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to subscribe if you haven't hit that notification bell that way every time i post a video you guys get notified and again thanks for all the support and y'all have a great great one